This was the sixth tournament for the Potomac Bassmasters 2024 schedule. It was on the Potomac on the 13th of July. Uh, scheduled to be thunderstorms throughout the day. It was pretty hot. Uh, got up into the 90s before the day was over. Uh, started off uh, working a grass edge here. Uh, initially I was trying a chatterbait, also threw a frog in there. Threw a buzzbait along the side. Uh, but it didn't take very long till I switched over to my Ozark rig and uh, that seemed to be the key and it helped me out for the day.
throughout the day I did pick up other baits. Uh, again, I had the frog, a chatter bait, a buzz bait, I uh, had a uh, whopper plopper tied on, uh, a speed worm. Uh, throughout the day I picked them all up occasionally and threw them, threw them into the grass, threw them into other areas, but I never really got a bite on anything other than the uh, the Ozark rig. I did get one bite here in a, in a little while on an echo. Uh, did not get that fish in the boat. Uh, but the Ozark is what did it all for me during the day. If you'll keep watching the video in a little bit, I'm going to give you a little tip. Uh, or if you saw my last video, you probably already know what this tip is. But uh, it's a little bit sneaky, but it worked really well for me today. That's a good fish. Good one for the fifth one. Got a tag. Need a few more like that to call. I'll throw a little excerpt in here from uh, about a week before this trip. Uh, here was where I was trying out the Ozark rig. I had used it a little bit in the past, but I was uh, really starting to use it a little bit today. And I uh, found that if you put a very small screw lock spinner in the back of your Cinco, it seems to make a significant difference in the fish hitting it. Uh, I'm kind of, the way I'm working it, I'm kind of swimming it, getting it hung up in the little clumps of grass a little bit, and then kind of, you know, uh, jerking it out a little bit. And I think that spinner blade, when it gets, when it swims, it spins, and when you jerk it out of the grass, it gives that little flash and a little thump, and a lot of times that's when they hit it, the reaction strike type uh, scenario. So. Um, Get yourself some of those screw locks and, and give them a try. Chunky little guy. Hit it right when it hit the water. Throwing a core tackle Ozark rig with a one of my hand poured Cinco's on it. And a little uh spinner on the back. The spinner seems to attract him a little bit, so uh, kind of swimming it through the grass. He hit it as soon as it hit the water. I will say this little spinner blades are not exactly cheap, but you see me screwing one in right here. I did get a number of strikes uh, throughout the day where I'd set the hook and there would essentially be nothing there, but when I pull my worm back the spinner blade is gone, and I think what's happening is the smaller fish are actually grabbing that little blade, and when I set the hook it's just snatching it out of the worm. So I probably went through about six or eight uh, today, and they're about a buck a piece or something, which is not incredibly expensive, but uh, but you do you do go through a few. I've uh, ordered some stuff off Amazon, and I'm going to try working, making some of my own to see how that works.
point six pound calls. I left this segment in there. Um, it's a little boring, sorry, to make you watch it, but I left it in there on purpose to show that I, I caught that last fish, <coughs> put it in the live well, did my culling, came back up and uh, cast again, basically into the same spot. And uh, you're going to see me pull another one out of here. So when you when you get on a spot like this, uh, don't think that there's just one or two fish there. Keep working it over. Uh, there there may be a lot more fish in that spot than you realize when you start. I picked up a Neko rig so I could pitch it in, uh, try to skip it underneath that dock in the boat a little bit better than I, I could the, uh, the Ozark rig that I had, although it skips pretty well. I don't know what caught my attention behind me, but you can say I'm paying attention to something here, and the second time I go to pitch it in, it uh, got it hung up on a, a dock, excuse me, a, a, a rope that was hanging across here because I really wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. Unfortunately, it seems like there's always one that got away. A lot of action this morning. At this point, it's uh, only about 7:30, maybe 8 o'clock. Uh, we've already got the limit in the boat. Already called once or twice. Uh, this fish, uh, I don't believe, called for me. I think it was exactly the same weight as the smallest one that I had in the boat. Um, but at, at this point, the the bite just 
completely turned off. Uh, even the folks I was watching around me, people just stopped catching fish at that point. So I picked up and moved on. You can tell the, the weather's a little different here. This is uh, probably about two hours later, uh, and I hadn't really even gotten a bite in that two hours. So I uh, started still fishing grass edge, still using that same uh, Ozark rig, and I finally came across one. Little bit of a derp, but that is the darkest bass I think I've ever seen. I moved on to yet another area. Uh, this is the, about the fourth area I fished during today. There's a spot that I didn't even put in the video because I caught absolutely nothing there, but. Uh, Right now it's about 1.30, weigh ins at uh, 3 o'clock, so don't have a lot of time to, to make much uh, elks, but uh, you're going to see this one's going to help me a bit. Uh, at this point, I've got about uh, 30 minutes left to fish. Um, I didn't get the very first part of this one in. I caught this fish, and uh, you're going to see it's uh, it's bleeding. Uh, so I pretty quickly took it back, and I stuck it in the live well while I was getting the hook out. Uh, it was hooked a little bit deep, but I, I managed to get the hook out without hurting it any for any worse. Uh, it was about a uh, uh, one about 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 half a pound of upgrade for me, so I did keep it. I uh, was very careful with it, uh, made sure it had plenty of oxygen, put G-juice in the live well, and uh, this fish did at least survive uh, through the way in, and I released it and watched it swim off, so I'm hoping it was good for the, the rest of its life. Uh, will be a long one, and maybe I'll catch it again one of these days. So that was the last fish for the tournament. Uh, you'll see some uh, upcoming stats here. Uh, I did manage to win, pulled in a little over 12 and a half pounds for the win. I was about a pound uh, above second place. 
a lot of people in there at around the 11 pound range uh, and with this win I am first in the standings for right now anyway. Uh, some of the other folks catch here, uh, you got Chris Donovan uh, had a nice catch. David Lakeman who came in second, a couple of his fish there. Uh, Chris Clary was the winner for the co-anglers, here's his fish. Uh, here's my uh, main bag of four and then uh, the big fish for 3.61. Uh, it was not big fish for the tournament. I was about uh, 0.15 pounds off the big fish. And when your thumb looks like at this at the end of the day, you know you've had a good day. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.